there is a new version for Real Engine 4SS, and in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to update to the new version of Real Engine 4SS for Power, especially if you have installed the older versions like the 2.5.2, you might have watched one of my videos or some other YouTuber's video and modded Power World using the older engine. And maybe now you're trying to add some new mods that are compatible with the V3. So I'm gonna teach you how to install this over the older version and how to get rid of some files that you have to get rid of in order for this to work. First thing you wanna do is click on the second link in the description, which is our written guide on how to mod Powerwall. Now in this instance, we're not gonna read through the guide. Instead, we're gonna click where it says UE4SS. So just scroll a little bit down and click on UE4SS. That is going to redirect you over here where you're going to click v3.00 or whatever the newest version is. If there is a new version, I do recommend that you read here because sometimes it will give you some important information that you might have to keep in mind. However, for the v3.00, I'm going to teach you what you have to do. What you want to do once you're over here is to scroll all the way down. So just go all the way down and then download the UE4SS v3.00 that zip okay click on that by the way guys if you've been trying to create a server for power world and you've been struggling don't worry because apex hosting got you covered if you use the first link in the description not only would you get all these advantages not only would you get a server that goes instantly online a server that is hosted completely remote so you don't have to put your ip address at risk you don't have to put your computer hardware at risk and your friends could join without any issues you will also get 25% off your first server just by using that first link in the description. So I'm going to leave that link in there for you guys in case you want to set up a server where you could add your own mods and do anything you want because it's your server. Okay, once that's said, let's keep going with the tutorial. And that is going to start the download right away automatically. Go ahead and drag and drop that file into your desktop and then go ahead and open your installation folder for Power World. If you have Power World in Steam, all you have to do is right click on Power World and click where it says manage and then browse local files. If you have Power World to Game Pass, all you have to do is open your Xbox Xbox app, right? Let's assume that I have Power World on Game Pass, which I don't, but I'm just going to grab a random game and teach you how to open the installation folder. Let's say that this is Power World right here. This is clearly the Minecraft launcher, but let's assume it's Power World. Click on the little three dots right here. Click where it says Manage, go to Files, and then click on Browse, and that is going to open the installation folder for Power World, okay? That's in case you have Power World through Game Pass, but I have it through Steam. So once you're over here in the installation folder, go ahead and click where it says Power Head over to binaries, click on Win64, and in here you want to scroll down and delete the X input 1, 3, right? So you have this file, this .dll file, you have to delete that file. What you want to do next is open the zip file that we downloaded earlier, right? This file right here, and you want to select everything in here and drop it into this folder right here. Drop it into the Win64 folder, so just select everything and then go ahead and drag and drop it. And it might have to replace a bunch of files. As you can see, it's asking me to replace files in the destination, which I'm going to say yes. Go ahead and replace all those files because I want to update this. Now we have Unreal Engine working for Power World. And I'm going to go ahead and launch Power World so you can see that there's no crashes or anything when I launch Power World and my mods are still working. And after like a thousand years going around, I found a sphere right here. Let's go ahead and pick that up. And as you can see, if I try and throw it, it says 100% capture rate. And that is because we have the 100% capture rate mod installed. So as you can see, 100% capture rate. So we know that the UE4SS is now working for Powell. Anyways, guys, that's been everything from me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. And as always, bye bye.